So in this final message, I'm going to share with you more details about the calendar with one potentially important change, which I believe clarifies and bring more light to so many of the questions and the things that we had been seeing dimly. But with this in mind, we will be also able to see a more clear from the point of view of scripture, potential window for the rapture, and most definitely the possibility of seeing better when and how the tribulation could start. So I'm going to invite you to take notes and I'm going to invite you to pause the video and rewind and go back if you need so and certainly ask any questions as you have done in the comments. As always, I do this in obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is the only purpose of this channel is to be obedient. It is not for views or likes, although it is wonderful to see that so many of you have appreciated the knowledge and wisdom that I receive from the Lord, which is not mine, is not my own doing, and certainly I wouldn't be capable of putting all of this material together on my own. It is the Holy Spirit guiding me so that he's guiding us to understand so that we can be ready. It is my firm belief that the Lord wants us to know more and more as we get closer to the day of the rapture and the tribulation that for, first he loves us and cares about us and two he wants us to be prepared. So please keep that in mind as you watch. Continue to leave your supportive comments and continue to love one another in Jesus name. So we have two charts to go through. So I'm literally going to fly through the charts and I'm going to let you guys do the work on scripture as much as possible. Here's how you want to understand the chart. We have to go from the birth of the Lord Jesus, which we've located on 3 BC, based on the sign of the star that I'm going to encourage you guys to go and study. This will take us to 31 AD. And I'm going to show you more details on the next chart. Okay. This is also based on several scripture, which we'll look at in the next chart. If that's correct, we have 32 and a half year. So the Lord's life to the resurrection is 32 and a half years. Then from that point, once the 3 BC is established, we're going to go and, and the 31 AD is established. We're going to add the 2000 years all the way to 2031. This is a small adjustments or substantial adjustments from my original 29 to 30. This will be now 30 to 31. But it works really well. Why? Because the 31, then subtracting the seven years of the wedding, okay, that's the Luke 2.36, Anna, that's the seven years of the wedding will take us to 2024. Again, we're going to get into more detail later. So for now, just try to understand the number sequence, okay? We'll take us to 2024, which will be the edge or the outermost edge of the window. We're going to call this the window, the window where the rapture and full on tribulation will start. Second piece, we're going to go back to 3 BC, 3 BC. We're going to add the 69 weeks of Daniel, which is the seven and 62 weeks, 690 years. That will take us to 688. That stays the same. And then from 688, we add 1335 years. That's the Daniel 12, 12. That's also staying the same, and that's also going to stay the same to 2023. Now you see that the window, 2023, lands right into the window. Its edge will be 2024. Its middle will be 2023. Now, we're going to also look at the fig tree generation, which you know from the calendars is 48 to 52. That doesn't change. We're going to add the 70 years of Psalm 90 to get us to 2022. That doesn't change. That's the other edge of the window. So you can see the window goes from the border or edge or end of 22 to the start or edge or border of 24, making 23 the absolute perfect spot within that window. Leaving us then the 22 to 32, which is not going to change, which is our 10 year total labor and sorrow. So you begin to see how the big picture now fits. Now, before we move on to the second chart, I want you to look at some of how these numbers are starting to make a lot of sense. 
the 12 12 of Daniel, which again fits into the study that we did of the three 12s, now is the two 12s, which points to 24, which the outer border of the window. So that works really well. Also, 1948, that also means 1 in 9 is 10, 4 in 8 is 12, so it's 2022 or 22. That fits incredibly well with it being 70 years to 2022. So that works really well. We already know Psalm 90, 10, that's 10 years, 90 minus 10. So that matches perfectly well with uh, the years uh, of labor and sorrow. And then the window, it's going to be the revelation for one door open or window. Four minus one is three, which is three years and talks very well about these three border years, 24, 23, and 22. Clearly 23 being the absolute center of it. Then in the edge of it, at the edge of the 10 years, we have the 2032. And that uh, is from the Matthew 24, which now has an incredible relevance. Matthew 24, 34, 34 minus 24 is 10. Again, talking about the border edge of this 10 years of labor and sorrow. So that works incredibly well. And then lastly, in 24 being the edge of the window or open door, we also have Samson who made there a feast for his Gentile bride, and that's Judges 14.10. And we already know from the previous videos that 14.10 is our 24, pointing to 2024. So this is the overall diagram. I'm going to slide it over one more time, and then I'll post it in the community page so you guys can download it and copy-paste and study that. That's kind of your overall outline. So now let's look at the second chart. So second chart has tremendous complexity. You can see it. I'm going to scroll it down so you can kind of see all the parts and the pieces here. And again, I'll put it in the community page so you can understand. So let me walk you through so you can go through the scriptures and understand it. So we have that first uh, life of the Lord. So it goes from September 11 of 3 BC. That's Luke 3, 1 and the star sign, which will take us to September 27 AD for the start of the ministry. And that's in Luke 3, 23. If that's the case, we have three months into 27, starting then 28 AD, full 28, full 29, full 30. And then we have three months or so in 31 AD, April 25, being the crucifixion or the resurrection rather. As stated in John 19, 31, Matthew 27, 62, 66, Mark 16, 1, Luke 23, 66, and 24, 1. Out of these, with a lot of work, we can get to in and around this time because of the two feasts overlapping. The Thursday, Passover, and the Sabbath. So how that comes together gives us these three and a half years but a spanning of four years, okay? Then, from the 3 BC of the scene, we can add the 69 weeks, which take us to 688 as per a previous calendar, and this shoots us into this window. So the window is now this pink area, as you can see, and I wanna give you more details, which then tells us that we are right about the start of 23, which you're gonna spill over into 24. We'll call that the eighth year, just hang in there for a minute, because the first year tribulation will be 24 to 25 and run all the way to 31. So if that's the case, we have the seven years of tribulation shifted over into the middle of the 10 years of labor and sorrow, leaving us two years in the end, nine to kind of conclude it, and then a final year to 33 for the millennium to be fully set up. This also gives us then a first or eighth year between 23 to 24. So just please take a look at the chart that will make a little more sense. It also is preceded by 2020, 21, 22, and halfway into 23, or part of it, as the three and a half years of Elijah. So the next is the 46 year temple starting in 1976, as you've seen from the series, on 224, would uh, turns 47 on 224 2023 so we have this first opening into the window on 224 that's when arari turns 47 then however we are not going to start the 688 1335 years 
until September 13 of 23. So that's the second step, which I would consider a second and more important confirmation. So we do have the 224, but then we have to wait until 913 or September 13 for this window to be to have two witnesses put it that way. So two witnesses. But we also have on May 13, the 71st year or the 70th year of the fig tree generation come to an end because it will officially finish the 71st year. So we have a third witness on May 13. So first witness, September 24th with Rari's birthday. And then we have 513, May 13 with Israel birthday. And then 913 with the 1335 years coming to a completion or a start of the 1335th year. So until September 13, the 1335 years haven't really passed. So now we have three witnesses starting September 13. Then as we move on, we would have the temple completed in the 71st year all the way to February of the following year, 23 of February 2024. That will be the first year completed of the 66 year temple in operation. So then we have additional confirmations. One that I have looked at carefully is this sister who speaks about having a vision where the Lord appeared to her and told her, I will be coming, I will be there in six minutes. She had the vision on January 2020. Now, if we use the calculation that one day equals a thousand years, then six minutes equal 4.16 years. And 4.16 years will take us exactly between March 1st and March 26th of 2024. In other words, right at the beginning of 2024. That's very important because the second confirmation is the confirmation I had at the beginning of 2022. When I asked the Lord right before I started my studies of the end times, I asked him, to give me a sign of when the rapture would be. And he showed me the clock that was in the room as I lifted up my eyes to point to 1224, 53 degrees. Now, 1224 is my birthday, so I understood that. And 53 was the degrees outside. But 53 in 2024, I would be 20, I would be 53. So the 1224 was my birthday, but it was also pointing to the year 24. So at the time, I didn't uh, put a lot of uh, time studying that, but now it's coming back as the possibility of 24 being the year when I turn uh, 53, also coinciding with the rapture as this second confirmation from the sister uh, tells us. The third confirmation I had is from my sister at Bride of Christ 27, when she mentioned that she heard 24 trumpets. Okay, that's a third and more than most important confirmation because at the time last December, as we were focusing on the three twelves, there was a possibility of looking at twelve twenty four, so twenty four is a day, but it appears that it would be uh, definitely pointing to the possibility of twenty four as the year. If that's the case, then we have three confirmations and all of these other witnesses, the thirteen thirty five years the 46-year temple, the fig tree, all landing inside this window. And this window is going to get more and more defined as we go through the year. So let's try to summarize this. It is a very high chance that the rapture and tribulation will all start within this um, year 23 and beginning of 24. Why? First of all, because we have this overlap of the Jewish calendar, Okay, which will uh, start in March this year, March of this year, March 23, and will uh, end in April of next year, April 8. So you can see there's an overlap in the first few years, 24, we, where we have both 23 Jewish and 24 Gregorian happening at the same time. That means all of these scriptures we've been looking at, which point to 22 to 23 and sometimes 23 to 24, if you go back to the first chart, you see those three years, 22, 23, and 24, pointing to end of 23, beginning of 20, 
for as the absolute best possible spot you can see the pink area for this door and window to be fully open and the rapture to occur now it could occur a lot early of course as we just said february 24 is the end of the 46th year as the john 2 20. this is when arari is going to turn 47 so the temple will be operating so that's a that's a very po good possibility march 23 will be the start of the jewish year or the end of 22 as you can see here so that's another very good possibility but you know it's last witnesses that of course are happening here but let's continue may 14 we have the end of the 70th year of the fig tree so another possibility september 11 will be it's one of my favorite dates because it will be technically if all the other calendars are correct the start of the 13 35th year of daniel 1212 and we know that the rapture uh, can't happen until the 13 35 years have passed and so yes it could be throughout the year but the chances that that date will be more important so then continue on we would then end up in on february 23rd that's when um, arari finishes the 47th year and on march 1st when the confirmation of the six minutes is starting all the way to march 26 that will be the end of that six minute itself and then april 8th which will be the start of 2024 and of course we have may 13 and september 10. so as you can see i rushed through the calendars and the scripture to keep this video manageable time-wise and to allow you guys to do some work here's the idea we're not here to tell the lord when the rapture is and when we want the rapture to be we're here to humbly understand seeking the lord reading scripture hearing from the lord and understanding what the lord is telling us with the help of the holy spirit tremendous amount of prayer tremendous amount of discernment and constant seeking the lord to get some dim clues so that we can be prepared it is my firm belief that the lord will continue to give us information and to let us know details now pay attention to what i'm saying the rapture can happen at any time as i pointed out there is some amazing candidate dates already in the early 2023 however look at the calendars again because it's all about the lord direction not what we want we're here to listen to draw nearer to the lord and to follow his commands there's going to be a lot of work that needs to be done and time is very very short i'm going to be presenting a whole lot of new projects that the lord has asked me to put together as i'm studying more just for this project i had to put together 14 preparation charts and these last two charts plus a list of a two page of things i wanted to share which i haven't even gotten to it so I, i'm going to ask you to continue to stay in prayer to stay supportive and to continue to help understand through prayer and seeking and confirmation and sharing knowledge where we're going i will be back soon with the next series i thank you all for your support and prayers in Jesus' name, amen.